Does anyone in your family use an Android device? I'm Beth from smartsocial.com and today's preview of our VIP course is all about the Android digital well-being settings. We'll give parents a complete guide to see how to find these settings and some recommendations. So first off, the million dollar question, do you feel like you're in control of technology or is technology in control of you? Take a second and think about that. Maybe even ask your student if they're close to you or when they get home from school tonight. Just see what everybody's answer to this question is. Technology and smart devices are part of our daily lives and activities. Let's hear a few responses from a pretty diverse group of people about this question. Do you feel like you're in control of technology or is technology in control? Oof. Oh, it's definitely more control. My biggest issue with it is knowing when to stop. Five and ten minutes here and there, and I feel like it takes up a bunch of my day. I'm staring for like half a day or something, and I'm going crazy. I think my math grade is the way it is because of my phone her math grade is the way it is because of her phone. Those five, 10 minutes at a time really add up on our phone. And a lot of times we don't even know it. So in the VIP course, we're going to help you take control on your Android device. Android's digital well-being options allow users to set controls and reminders on a device to help guide how and when you use that specific device. Some of the features include bedtime, a work and personal profile with different access to different apps during certain times of day that you can preset. Focus mode allows users to set a schedule or manually block out distractions. And the digital well-being dashboard, which I have an example of here if you're watching this video, gives you one report on your device to see how and when you use your phone to help you learn about your own behaviors. Digital Wellbeing also offers app timers to turn off specific apps when you reach the daily limit that you set on your own device. In our VIP course, you'll learn about all of these features in a lot more detail. We'll show you step-by-step -step how to find each setting and our recommendations of what to set on your devices. We'll also give you some tips on how to set limits and controls as a family. Parents, if you want to view this VIP resource, we recommend joining the Smart Social VIP or Very Informed Parent Membership for full access of all of our social media safety resources. Go to smartsocial.com slash VIP or scan that QR code on the screen to go directly to the page. Once you're logged in as a member, you can find the Android Parental Controls course just by searching for it in the top search box. Schools, if you're interested in bringing these types of courses to your families, let us help you reach your parents. Partner with us to bring ready-to-deliver parent education resources like this and more than 130 others to your own community. Find out more about our smart social anti-bullying and incident reporting text message platform for your schools. Superintendents, principals, you can find out more at smartsocial.com slash partner. Fill out a quick form on there and schedule a time to talk to one of our staff members about your community's needs. I'm Beth from smartsocial.com. Thanks for watching the preview today about Android Digital Wellbeing, a complete guide for parents. We hope to see you in the VIP course.